Okay, welcome to Shark Mining. Uh, in this time, we're gonna review the Shark Stream 2. Uh, it's a mining rig server case type for up to a GPU. So we have uh, this one is one of the main advantages of this rig is the risers less. So you don't have to use riser. It's a big board with the A port PCI Express all connected, and you just need to plug in your video cards like a regular computer. This is important because before we remember when the open frames and the risers, uh, we had a lot of problem with the uh, not uh, performing the, the correct hashing power on each video card. We had a problem with uh, too many connectors. We have the, the cable, the USB cable, we have the racer, and in this, uh, the small uh, connection on the, on the PCI Express. That is always was breaking or something happened because of malfunctions or you need to disconnect all the time. We fixed that with this rig. Uh, a very good improvement on this rig is here in the front. You can see the fans. It's a server case fans and uh, they run the air, a tunnel air that's go to just to one direction. What allows you to do is you can put one rig on top of the other, up to six of them, and the air will go to just one weight. In the open frame, as you know, you got the rigs on the top and the air was going everywhere. No way to control the airflow of your system. This way, in this case, we fixed the problem. So one of the other advantages of this rig is very compact. So you can uh, have for the first time a GPU in this uh, size. Before, as you remember the open frame, it was something like this and very big to put eight video cards on them. And anyway, if it's 1080 Ti, I can assure you at the end, you will get problems with the heat. And like we always do, we have in the front our touch screen, which allows you to control your rig just with, with the tap of the finger. So you can control the temperature, you can uh, change the coin you want to mine, and everything for the touch screen, web browser, or your cell phone. Now let's talk about the different configurations that we have for this model. Uh, we support from 8 GPU and 6 GPU at the same time, and you can configure from the RX 580, for example, 1070 Ti and 1080 Ti. So we have three different configurations depending on the budget, of your budget. Uh, the best setup right now would be the RX 580 in terms of uh, performance and uh, cost of your rig. 1080 Ti, of course, will be the top of the line, which uh, would give you 50 mega hatches per card. So that would be uh, 400 mega hatches of this configuration. Now the RX 580, but it's the best performance and price comparing with price, but it will give you 243 mega hatches. For those who has the, their own GPU, we have the server case uh, with the motherboard, memory RAM, CPU, and power supply. So the only thing you need to buy uh, to plug in is the GPUs inside. This comes with the software also, which support all NVIDIA cards and AMD. This is exactly the same like this one without the GPUs. Here I want to show you how to stack uh, like three even more. You cannot stack up to six. We have tried six of them. And uh, the good thing here is the airflow all will go to the back. So it's a scalable solution for building mining farms. Like before it was so difficult with the open frame. Now you can put uh, more rigs in one package. It's very important for building high density mining farm because all the air, it goes to one direction. Now we just start the rig, it's mining with the A1080 Ti mining Ethereum. As you can hear, the noise is almost nothing. You get the four, uh, three fan server case in the front and you almost don't hear it. We're gonna show you uh, what is the decibels for this rig. The noise as you can see here, I'm talking but it was 69, 70 compared with the Ant Miner which is 90. It's a completely different solution here. The power consumption of this rig with A1080 Ti is 1542 watt consumption. One of the things here that you can check on the screen is all the video cards are recognized. As you can see here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight video cards. The temperature of each video card right now is mining for like for 10 minutes and is 67 the the highest one but usually it's like 58 64 
something impossible in the open frame. The hash rate we're getting is 50, 51 mega hashes per card mining Ethereum. You can go down here and you will see uh, more information about your rig is online. The Claymore miner is up and running. You can reboot your rig or shoot down. Here you get all the information on each card individually. How many watts consumption they are, uh, they are using right now, like 170, 165. And NVIDIA overclock settings, right now we are applying in the core clock 50, 900 on the memory clock and the power consumption is 170. But you can change that if you just click here in NVIDIA overclock settings. If we go down, for example, if you want to mine a different coin, the only thing you need to do is just change the miner for the one that you, uh, for example, EWBF for Zcash, and then you select the wallet that you already configured. You click on the rocket on the middle, and it will apply all your changes. Okay, we're gonna talk about the software that we are using right now. For example, um, if you go to once you log in in your account in SharkOS, uh, you go. They're gonna have three main configuration, which is uh, are the most important one. The first one will be the rigs. Here is where you create your rig and connect it with your control panel here on the web browser. So you can restart, change pool, change wallet, whatever you want to do. You can do it from the web browser, from your laptop, or from your cell phone. It's pretty simple to use. And the second one will be the wallets. In the wallet section here, you select what coin you want to mine and you just add it here and later you, you load that wallet into your rig so it will be pretty simple for you uh, to mine and switch between coins in order not to have to, uh, to run any common lines or uh, type and copy and paste a lot of things every time. It's just one time, you select what you want to mine and that's it. The third one will be the overclock settings when you can preload it like I have here for example, I have set up for 1080 Ti RX 580 or 1070 or 1070 Ti. In this case, you just uh, configure, save it, and when you apply to your rig, it will be pretty simple. I will make just an example. Let's say, for example, this one that is in testing mode right now is a uh, RX 580, 30 mega hatches per card. It's a mini, Shark Mini uh, with the 4 GPU. So here you can see the hashing power, which is 30 mega hatches the temperature which is 58 61 pretty good for these video cards and the water consumption of this car right now the overclock settings that we apply here you get the miner for example we're going to select claymore and we're going to select ethereum because we want to mine ethereum once we do that we hit apply let's say that tomorrow we want to change and we want to mine different coin the only thing we need to do is uh, for example we want to mine zcash claymore for zcash amd cards it tells you then you go to your wallet, select Zcash, and hit Apply Miner and Wallet. This will change the whole thing, and uh, you will see um, that your rig will be mining Zcash right now. Here on the top, you get the mega hatches. The total is 121 mega hatches per uh, the total in your rig. The water consumption on your rig is 571. And here are the specifications on the card. Okay, so for example, if we go to uh, Monitor on the top, you get the performance, these all the rigs that are connected right now that we are testing for customers, for example, Etihatch is 342 mega hatches because we are mining with uh, this rig with Etihatch, that's the total of all the rigs. Equish hatch is 1.26 kilo hatches and the total power consumption of all your these rigs is 1.47, uh, 46 kilowatt per hour. Okay, here you get the workers, there is three online and one offline. GPUs that is uh, 15 online and 5 offline so something happened with the GPU you can check you will receive notifications here in this section uh, if the rig is offline how many hours have been offline so you always get a notification what's happening with your rig so you can take action really fast so you will be up and running 24 7. Now let's talk about the competitors uh, as you can see now on the market there is a lot of Chinese company trying to do the same uh, mining rigs uh, kind of server case like this one but you have to be careful with that because they use the uh, cheapest part and the uh, one thing important with us is we always get the top quality parts parts on it like for example we use a power supply EVGA 1600 that you have 10 years warranty with this one and with the video card we took high-end quality like Gigabyte EVGA which you get three years uh, warranty with them too also all these manufacturers are here in US so if you have any problem with your product you always can return it and they will send you a new one 
Uh, another important point here is that, for example, the video card that this company use, they have on the back, they don't have ports. So it's just mining cards that you, they don't have reselling value that you can sell when you don't want to mine anymore or you want to upgrade your video cards. Here you have, you have a gaming PC video cards like 1080 Ti, the very good ones. They have ports, of course, on the back. And if you want to resell it in future because a new card came up, you, you just can sell it for gaming and then buy a new one for mining. Now, second point is warranty. One of the most important part here because you have your miner rig uh, working 24-7 and the warranty is the, the most important part in your miner rig. Compared with a different company, for example, the Chinese company, they offer from zero to three month warranty. And here you get 10 years for the power supply and from two, three years with the video cards. So you are covered all the time. The third point will be operating system. Most of this company, the Chinese company, they send the rig without any operating system inside, or maybe with Linux or Windows, but you have to install all the miners. This is a really pain and we cover that with our software which is already everything is installed. You don't need to worry about driver installation, miner installation, upgrades, nothing like that. You just select the coin that you want to mine and you up and running. Point number four will be um, customer service. Here in US, customer service is very important and uh, we offer uh, the top quality service for our customers. Uh, for example, when you buy a miner rig, uh, you, if you have any problem with, your, with the configuring your hardware, you can call us and we take care of that situation. If uh, because you receive your rig and your one video card is not working or something like that, our technician, they will, you can call us at the 1-800 number and they will take care of the situation right away. So buying from a company that is located in base in US is very important for you because you can call any every time and we're gonna take care of the situation. Instead of you buy for a company that is in China, a different country, it will be difficult for you to process an RMA, for example, or give you the, the right customer support that you need. Thank you for watching the chart stream to review video if you like this video thumbs up if you want to send any comment we would be more than happy to answer any question and keep tuned for the next video like this thank you